Lake effect snow is going to kick up its heels this weekend in parts of western New York, including the Buffalo metro area, and especially late Saturday night and Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Don Paul. Welcome to my podcast, Don Paul's Bits of Blather on weather and climate. And on this Saturday, uh, there are going to be scattered snow showers around. There already have been some patchy, modest accumulations. Still could be another inch here and there this afternoon. The coldest daytime highs of this very mild month and mild winter, only in the mid to upper 20s. And uh, the wind averaging 12 to 18 will produce a wind chill in the mid and upper teens. And then later tonight, the winds are going to back and become more southwesterly. And that's going to cross the record mile for this time of the year, 36 degree Lake Erie waters and set up some moderate to occasionally heavy lake effect snow across portions of the metro area and also the north towns in southern Niagara, northwest Genesee, and possibly western Orleans counties. These winds late tonight will increase to 20 to 30 with gusts to 40, and in the morning, 25 to 35 with gusts of 40 to 45, producing blowing snow from morning driving, some difficult travel at times with sharply reduced visibility. Storm totals in northern Erie, southern Niagara, northwest Genesee, and southern Orleans counties on the average of three to six inches, but some amounts of up to eight inches and more persistent lake snow. During Sunday afternoon, the lake snow will begin to oscillate southward, crossing the Buffalo metro area back into the Buffalo South Towns and then over the hilly terrain, but diminishing in intensity as it does so. So amounts south of the metro area will be less than those in and north of the metro area. Not a huge event, but considering so little has happened since that brutal week we had in January, um, this does bear noting. Fortunately, it's on a weekend trap day rather than a weekday with heavier road traffic, but it is going to make for some difficult travel if you're going to be out late tonight and during the morning tomorrow. Again, focusing on the Buffalo metro area, that could include some of the, the nearby south towns. It will include the Buffalo north towns and also up to about Lockport. Uh, that's a, an approximation at this point. Uh, and uh, again, with winds of 25 to 35 miles an hour tomorrow morning with some gusts to over 40, uh, I'm not predicting all out whiteouts, but travel will be difficult at times and hazardous. And then much smoother sailing thereafter, after this lake snow heads south and diminishes, Monday will be dry, partly to mostly sunny, the low 30s, but with light winds, it will feel milder. We're back to the low to mid 40s on Tuesday, the upper 40s on Wednesday. By Thursday, an area of low pressure could bring us some rain showers ahead of a cool front, and those rain showers will probably mix with some snow showers Thursday night, some snow showers around on a colder Friday with temperatures dropping back to the low 30s on Friday, but some additional moderation will be redeveloping during the last week of February. I'm going to be off the clock on vacay for a week after today, so I hope this uh, temporary break in the podcast serves you well. Thanks for following and sharing this far, and uh, you'll hear from me again in about a week. Stay safe.